Their flight was nearly two hours late, finally touching down in Canada safe. Hello, welcome to Canada. Go ahead. As the Ukrainians got off the plane, went through customs and got their luggage, family and friends were waiting. This couple came to pick up his mom and sister who fled Kharkiv. They had like a very narrow window to flee, so finally they moved and crossed the border to Poland and they spent there like a month waiting for everything and now they're coming here. Yeah. I believe they're calling. While we were talking, he got a call from his sister on the plane. So yes, they're landed waiting for their time to leave the plane. Oh my God. Yeah, we hardly slept. We hardly eat anything, but... This Until we knew that they are... Safely crossed the border. Yeah. Soon, people started trickling out of Canada Customs, suitcases in tow, looking a little shocked at the greeting. This family fled Chernihiv in December already, worried about what was on the horizon. I'm feeling great, a bit exhausted after flight, but it's perfect. I'm happy <laughs> to be here. From the airport, they went to the Ukrainian Refugee Reception Center, a one-stop shop for provincial services like health cards and housing. Ottawa is providing up to 14 days of accommodations in a hotel. The Manitoba government says the newcomers can stay as long as it takes to find a place to live. We'll do whatever we can to help support them through this time. It's difficult enough for them and to, that we just don't want them to worry. Back at international arrivals, finally, the emotional reunion. Give them a line, make the dinner for them <laughs> and just have a good talk. This is the first of three federally chartered flights. The second will go to Montreal on Sunday, the third to Halifax four days later. All told, 1,000 people will arrive, but 240,000 Ukrainians have applied to come to Canada. Manitoba hopes Ottawa will send more flights here, promising an open heart and a warm welcome. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.